everybody, what is up? My name is Mackenzie. And I'm Jonathan. We are husband and wife, and we'd like to welcome you to Paradise. And with us, we have Ross, one of the designers of Woodcraft. Hello. All right, so Ross is one of our great friends here mm -hmm. in New York City. We play games with him. We even played an early prototype of yeah. Woodcraft, uh, and we're really excited to see it out in the wild now. Now, folks have seen this game everywhere. It's uh, absolutely blown up since its release. So we had to have him into the set to, uh, to get some inside scoop on Woodcraft. We met a, a couple years ago. We were going to an escape room and uh, someone was wearing a shut up and sit down shirt and we started talking to them about board games. That was not Ross. Um, <laughs> yeah, and... the guy that was leading us through the escape room. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. yeah. And so we started talking to him about board games and um, then Ross, who's sitting behind the front desk and in the back, I just hear him go, you're talking about board games. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good impression. Comes running over, <laughs> and that's how we met Ross. So, yeah, yeah, I think uh, Ross and his wife Sophie came over a week later, and thus we are all we are sitting here today talking about Woodcraft. Um, give us a little overview of Woodcraft. Yes, starting with me. Starting with Woodcraft. Let's start with Woodcraft first. Start with Woodcraft. All right. So it's a um, medium heavy. It, BGG would disagree. I think it's a medium heavy Euro <laughs> game. They think it's a little higher, a little heavier. <laughs> um, it's this Rondell action selection uh, board with, uh, I think, a quite unique Rondell where you're uh, moving actions around the wheel and the ones that are not chosen for a while become more valuable and offer greater bonuses that you can combo to c create your, uh, your uh, contracts and get them fulfilled. That's the other thing. It is a contract fulfillment game um, with uh, pretty strict uh, requirements. So it's a dice manipulation game and the die are the resources for the contracts and they have to be exact. And in order to facilitate that you're going to be using various tools and supplies and helpers and workers that are in your workshop to manipulate the die. For example, if I had this green six, I could activate my table saw which would chop that, for example, into a four and a two or two threes, if I can find the three. So on and so forth. Uh, and there's various other ways that in which you can modify the dice to get your contracts fulfilled and cr create a, a good reputation for your company and win the game. You came up with the initial concept and you were the, one of the first designer and yeah. then who did you end up partnering with? So that was Vladimir Suki from yeah. Delicious Games. He's a Czech designer. Um, yeah. Designer of uh, Underwater Cities and Pulsar, some of my favorites. Yeah, we yeah. played Underwater Cities once, so that's, that's fun. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so he's a pretty well, big, well known designer, and so he also helped bring Woodcraft to life. Yes. But I want to know a little bit about your background. So, yeah. how did you end up designing Woodcraft? So, I uh, am a, well, I was a escape room designer. Uh, I worked at an escape room in New York City where I was uh, designing the rooms. <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant, as you just said. Yeah. Um, and building them and designing them, uh, doing a lot of woodwork myself uh, during the process of building them out. And when the pandemic hit, uh, we had to close down a little bit and I'd already been thinking about an idea during the building process. I'd thought about an idea of a resource that you could chop into smaller pieces. Uh, and uh, so I started to work on that when we were closed down. And... Uh, then spent a lot of time continuing to work on it, and then here we are. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Vladimir came in, of my understanding, later in the process. Yes. Now, the original the, the original theme wasn't elves and, and the, with blueberries. Can you talk about what was your original concept for the game? Yes, that was uh, mostly just based on the ease of which I was able to find sort of 1950s clip art, basically. So it yeah, kind of yeah, looked yeah. like food chain magnate style a little bit, because they were just available in the, in with the images that I needed. Um, so I just kind of ran with that style. Uh, not something that I necessarily needed it to be or even wanted it to be. It was just out of necessity of making all of the pieces on my own. So walk us through the process. So you designed the <coughs> beginning of um, Woodcraft. Now this is your first game, correct? Yes, correct. So this is your first game and how did Vladimir come into the picture? Yeah, so I had been working on it for maybe a year or so. Uh, and I started to feel pretty good about it. It was very different. It was a worker placement game instead of the Rondell. Um, most of this was the, the, was something here, not exactly as it is right now, but it was it was all here in some shape or form. Um, I, I decided to start sending out the uh, sell sheet to publishers and see if I could get any bites on it. Uh, I did, I had a couple of conversations with a few publishers. Um, ultimately, they didn't go anywhere because uh, one of them, for example, wanted me to make it a bit lighter and a bit um, a bit quicker, mm. which I don't, you know, I prefer the heavier, longer games, so yeah. I, I decided I didn't really want to do that. Uh, but then, then Vladimir responded, 
um, and wanted to read the rules, so I, I sent him over. Then he wanted to see a uh, printout and print and play version, which I sent over. Uh, and then he seemed to be pretty interested and he started working on some ideas and started adding a little bit uh, to it. Uh, just just, for, just uh, nothing official yet, he just was tinkering with it. And then eventually he said, all right, we think we want to publish it. Do you want to work with me and you know, bring it to its final state together, which it was, is what we did. And that's how it happened. Awesome. So when did he come into the picture and start working with you? Uh, so it was after about a year of me working on it, and then I want to say we worked on it, f or, or at least it re then was released about a year later. Cool. Yeah. So what was the collaboration <coughs> like? Because I know we have a lot of like people that are into designing games and interested in pitching it. Did you guys did you guys work together on design? Was it a back and forth? What did that look like? Yeah. So one interesting thing is that I don't speak Czech. And Vladimir does not speak English at all. <laughs> so uh, we had one video call where we we, we spoke with his uh, wife translating for him, uh, which was helpful, uh, just to sort of have him demonstrate what his ideas were for the game and how he wanted to change it. Uh, after that, it was just a lot of Google Translate and uh, emailing back and forth, uh, sh both of us shouting out ideas, some of them sticking, some of them not, um, making lots and lots of changes every day. We change something, print out a new a new card, put it in, try it out. And uh, yeah. <clears throat> so this wasn't like you pitched it to him and then he just took it. This was definitely like a back and forth along yes, the way. Yes, absolutely. Um, there are definitely aspects that he obviously he brought this to the table in oops uh, in a broad idea, but then we worked on it together and improved it um, together. Uh, and then you continued you know, a lot of the playtesting on your own as well. Yes. Yeah. yeah we we both play tested it completely separately, independently from each other, um, came back with our results, came back with what we thought, how what people's feedback was, things like yeah. that. Awesome. I have a question about playtesting. Yes. yes. Um, so you have an amazing wife who plays games with you all the time. Mm -hmm. This is um, true. How many times do you think she's played Woodcraft? Yes. Um, <laughs> she has probably played it, I don't know, probably a hundred times. <laughs> I would say at least. <laughs> That's awesome. Are there any game mechanics that like were her idea? Is anything in this hers? Oh, good question. <laughs> I, hmm. She's probably shouting it right now. <laughs> <laughs> She'll I play hate that. All, uh, I don't. I think she definitely gave really great feedback. Uh, I can't say that there's anything that she that she said that was my idea. But, <laughs> she's been very helpful, nonetheless. That's awesome. Is there a certain mechanic that you came up with that you're really proud of that has came, um, come out in the final product? Yeah, definitely the, the way that the dice uh, manipulation works in general. Um, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. some, of, some of the ideas that were in here in my original design that have just changed slightly, for example, we had, um, I had four decks of cards instead of two. Uh, that's been sort of collapsed into cards and these. So the the uh, tools that you add to your workshop, the saw blades, the uh, the, the scrap wood tiles and stuff. Awesome. They were all cards in uh, in the original design, uh, which was, you had to wait for them to come out on the display. Oh, okay, which, okay. Uh, was yeah. I think has been improved. So you know, although the idea that I had is is sort of there, I'm very happy with how it's been improved. Right. Very cool. Yeah. And what was the process like um, with the artist? Did you get to see any of the art beforehand? Or how did that look? Yeah, um, I definitely got to see a lot of the artwork uh, as it was being made. Uh, I actually made a very, very crude uh, Photoshop of what I think the cover should look like. It didn't turn out exactly to what I had it, but I... I, I Is there any like element that... So I had suggested using the big dice, uh, the big die on the front. Um, oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, being cut. <laughs> I, mean, I, I could probably send you the image I sent. Yes, <laughs> yes. If we can, I'll insert it Basically right Basically an old man chopping a die in half on a, on a yeah. table. So I have some gameplay questions. Yes. yes. Okay, so mm -hmm. you're starting a game of Woodcraft. Actually, like, starting this game, the way okay. you see it right now, your first player, what's your first move? Oh, great question. <laughs> I think it would depend on the helper that I got, but let's pretend I got something that's not going to inform my decision too much. I definitely think starting with doing an upgrade is helpful or a helper, something that's going to help build um, a, an yeah. infrastructure on your board. Um, I would say a lot of the people, because it can feel a little bit like you're always drowning, like just not drowning in the game, <laughs> um, you, I think people often just try to keep their head above water the whole game. and. If you let it, if you let yourself go underwater a little bit, but then make an infrastructure, you can you can hop back up. And okay, do okay, well. okay. I think that happens to new players a little bit. They yeah. Try to get everything done on time and <laughs> kind of chokes them out. 
What are your favorite upgrades? What's your go-to? I, oh, I, I, you need the saws. I think, I definitely think you need them. The, uh, the scrap wood I really like. Sophie loves the tree. Sophie's first move in every single game is to upgrade the yellow tree. Okay. <laughs> um, I, I personally nice. love this. The glue tile is underused, I think. If, uh, if, you, yeah. can, if you can get that out, uh, if you can use it and get four points four times during the game um, and have it help you fulfill a, t a, tr a tricky contract, I think that's a good one. That's where I got into trouble last Yeah, time. you wanted the glue. No, wanted the glue and, and I didn't title. upgrade it. That's the thing, right? If your helper has uh, glue production or if there's like a card like this out, you might think sure, getting yeah. that really really feeds into the yeah. glue tile. Awesome. Well, it is like so cool to see the final final game here, mm -hmm. but I gotta tell you, like your prototype was extremely good looking, especially yes. considering that it was mostly handmade. Yes. Uh, I think probably our biggest crutch when we were working on Bark Avenue was we'd be waiting on the printed prototype to come from the game crafter. We'd be ordering yeah. dollars and dollars of just like prototypes. Well, fun fact, yeah. the best component we had that all the reviewers got was actually Ross helped us make it. So yeah. on the player boards. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I, I would love for you to talk a little bit about your tricks on how you made the player boards. Uh, and then also just like your most important like go-to tool that helped you make good prototypes at home. And yeah. you made it in a New York apartment. So yes, it's not like I do have a huge workshop to work <laughs> in. <laughs> Um, so, uh, first thing I'll say is, luckily I had very beautiful artwork, so that helps. Um, but typically mm -hmm. I just take a lot, of, uh, a lot of foam core, a lot of spray glue, uh, a ruler and a razor blade, and it is just precise cuts, um, cutting it all out. And if you make a straight line, uh, the foam core makes it feel legit, and uh, the artwork does the job making it look nice as well. Yeah. yeah. Very awesome. Uh, you were also the person who taught me that uh, a <laughs> razor you can snap off if the blade breaks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you thought you had to buy a whole new one. Yeah, yeah. Not, not I remember you crafty. saying, why is the blade this long? <laughs> <laughs> <I know. laughs> <laughs> Not very crafty, but you know, our, our first impression of Ross was, uh, well, one of the first impressions, one of the first times you were at our house, there was uh, our our chest over there. We have like a chest in our living room that a wheel had fallen off and you're like, oh, I can take the wheel home and I can fix it. And you came back with a new wood block on it and you drilled it in the next day. That's true. Um, yeah. And yeah, so you are a, a wood crafter through and through. Yes, he right. takes the theme <laughs> to heart. <laughs> um, so that is kind of like your favorite mechanic and everything going on. So for people that haven't played Woodcraft, why should they pick up this game? I think if, uh, if you're a fan of a, a really strong puzzle, and an efficiency puzzle especially with resource management, um, it, is, it just really makes your brain work. And that's what I really like. Uh, often you can sit there, I mean, maybe not so much for AP prone players, but you can sit there and work out a really, really good turn. Um, <laughs> that maybe something if you just glanced at, the, at what the, the things you had available to you, if you just glanced at them, you might not realize how much you could pull off. And if you really think about it, uh, you can get it done. And it's very satisfying to do. I really enjoy that. About nice. it. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. Now, mm -hmm. we have some people that are designers or up and coming designers. And what is some advice that you would give to them as they are going through the design process? Yeah, the, uh, the biggest piece of advice I would say would be to uh, play as much as you can. That's first and foremost. Mm -hmm. And don't be afraid to make changes. You can always undo changes if you don't like them. You don't have, they're not, nothing's permanent. You can throw something in, take it right back out, add something else in, play it again, add something mm -hmm. else in, play it again. Keep doing that uh, until you're having a lot of fun playing it. And I think you'll, anyone can make a good game if they just do that for long enough. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so you went about like pu pitching. So pitching yeah. to publishers, do you have any advice of a successful pitch or how to go about doing that? Uh, yeah, so typically uh, I just reached out to a lot of publishers by email and just asked if they were accepting submissions, uh, submissions that's the first thing I did. Um, and if they were, seemed at all interested, I sent over a sell sheet. A uh, sell sheet basically is just a sheet of paper that goes over what's good about your game, what's unique about your game, um, the general uh, overview of the game. Um, and I sent that out to quite a lot of people. A few of them mm. responded. A few of those led to some conversations. Uh, and uh, yeah. It was, uh, I, I don't, I would say look at sell sheets that, for other games that you like, for publishers that you want to pitch to, uh, and see what they, uh, see, see how that information has been presented to them in the past. That might be helpful to make your, your, your sell sheet. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, any talk of uh, an expansion? Um, <laughs> I, uh, I hope so, eventually. Um, we have been, we had, when we first were designing the game, we did create some asymmetric player boards, which were really fun and offered each player, you know, unique way to, mm. uh, a, a unique route to victory. Um, we didn't 
ultimately have time to balance them enough for the release. Um, but something that could end up in an expansion someday. And there's also uh, a few mechanisms we've, we've had ideas for um, for an expansion, but unfortunately nothing just yet. Awesome. Well, let us know down below if you want to see a Woodcraft expansion. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, but Ross, thank you so much for coming over for this formal interview instead of usually you're coming over here to play games. So thank you for letting us pick your brain Absolutely. formally on camera. Um, we really enjoy Woodcraft. I really like it. And mm -hmm. um, I'm going to make you sign this copy after we're done <laughs> filming. Um, but always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know whenever we put out a new video. We'll see you next time. Happy, Happy playing. playing. Should I start cool. that too? That is <laughs> um, Hey everybody, what is up? My name's Mackenzie. And I'm Jonathan. And I'm Ross. <laughs> we are husband and wife and designer, and we'd like to welcome you to Teradice. Husband and wife and designer. <laughs> that sounds weird. <laughs> what do you want to call him? We are Teradice Games, and with us is the designer of Woodcraft. Cool. That's what you, you're supposed to go in next. I'm supposed to go in next? Have you never done a video with us before? <laughs> okay, fine. All right, okay, okay, okay. One more time and then we're good.